how to start tonight. I've got so much to say. Um, a beautiful thing has been happening is now some people in the United States are really starting to get fascinated with what's happening here. Eh? And we have a couple of psychologists in here tonight, extraordinary men, men with real courage, men that appeared at the right time, men that are starting to see that there's something deeper than what mankind thinks of his mind right now. And they're starting to release this message in the United States. And I truly, truly admire them for this. They're here tonight. And they're going back again with another message. And it's a message that <coughs> on South Spring Island here, we found the secret to life. We start to realize that life is a divine thought. There's a pattern to this life. And we have broken the pattern. And now that we've broken the pattern, we must tell the world. Because not only have we broken it, we've manifested the fact. We have the proof here. Mankind is searching for a way to help society have less burdens with people through sicknesses of the mind that create a real problem to society financially. We have conquered it here in South Spring. We have absolutely conquered it. They're looking for a way to make marriages work. We have conquered it. They're looking for a way to train children to perfection. We've found it. We've found a way. It is simple. It is the most difficult thing to give away because it's truth. And truth cannot be understood from the mind. It is not a thinking process. It is beyond thought. But it lies deep within each and every one of our own conscious states. We have learned how to arouse this conscious state, this superconscious state, and bring it to life. And when you start to bring it to life, you raise the level of consciousness of the hearer. And when the hearer's level of conscious state rises, automatically, the pattern of life is shown to him and he too can guide and help other living souls out of their misery, immaterial, what their misery is. In the past, we've had beautiful, beautiful people that have helped psychology and psychiatry, and people that want to help society, want to help humanity. But now we have to look at another way, the way. Not my way, but the way. And it's always been the way. And the way is not to look in the past for your problems or to fix whatever ails you. The answer is to find it now. Only now exists. As soon as society realizes this, they will stop playing the sick game of the mind, which is being manifested now throughout life to create whatever life is now. And whatever life is now is the full responsibility of the level of consciousness of humanity at the present moment. And it cannot change. 
It cannot change until the level of consciousness rises. And the only way the level of consciousness of humani humanity can rise is by finding truth now. There is only one truth. There has always only been one truth. And that one truth basically is that all life is and always will be one divine thought. It's so beautiful that people are actually starting to hear. And our friends in the psychology, etc., or in public health, have been getting such tremendous results that the superiors are wondering why and what's going on. But the second to see what is going on, it is disbelief. You see, what man mankind has to do is to start looking at facts, not beliefs, rituals, and ideas, but facts. And once the mind of mankind starts to see facts and lives in the reality of facts, then he walks in truth and sees what is, and from that second on, he has the opportunity to live in what is called heaven, bliss, call it whatever you want. It's a state of consciousness. All things are a state of consciousness. That is a fact. The people here that have been listening, we have children with brain damage which has so miraculously grown back which is impossible we have people who have cured themselves of cancer we have people who have cured themselves all different kinds of sicknesses which is starting to create the perfect utopia here on earth if if you can keep it up, if you have the courage to look within and see that it is indeed a spiritual reality, if you take away the details. The details are the playground of the mind. It's where the mind plays, gets itself lost, gets itself into trouble, gets itself sick, and wonders why. Live in the world of facts, and a fact needs no thought. It is something that is seen from within, projected out. Then you see the beauty that surrounds you. You see whatever you want to see, because that is life. All life is a conscious state. You see whatever you see because you have what is called a free will and a free mind. You use it. That's a fact. Whatever happens, it doesn't matter. Everybody is that same fact. Find a part into life, you'll find everybody's problems. You'll find the love, you'll find the perfection in every living soul that walks the face of the earth. And when asked for help, you will simply give it. When you give it, it won't make sense. It won't make sense until the person listening is ready. And no one, but no one can make anybody ready. Only yourself. Always only yourself. You cannot fix the world. You fix yourself. Fix yourself and the world will change round about you. When this occurs, another living soul walks in, then he asks, then you can tell him how to fix his world. It's an individualized 
little world. We all live in a little individualized little world of our own in a separate reality from any other living soul on earth until someday you see the oneness of all things. And when you see the oneness of all things, you see that all humanity only thinks they are separate. But they're not. Because it's all just one conscious state. That's all it is. That's the answer. Go back to that one conscious state, to that one divine thought. Work from here, and the perfection must come out. Anybody listening must hear the truth. <coughs> they must. What they do with it is up to and depending on themselves plus the level of conscious state exists within themselves. That is what dependency is, is to depend on the level of conscious state that you are in at present. When you're happy, you go to higher levels of conscious state. When you're unhappy, you're in lower levels. For the simple reason, the lower levels live in a world of fear, which creates hostility, jealousy, anger, desire, etc., etc. The higher states that find the knowledge of the self, whenever they find this knowledge, they go to higher levels of conscious state. From here there is no fear, because fear is shown for its worthlessness. It's shown for what it really is. A conscious state being manifest in form to make you believe in something called fear. From this fear, all your sickness come. All your fear, your anxiety, your stress, all your problems. Find true knowledge and doesn't disappear. From here you walk in freedom. Because freedom lies within if you can uncover it by finding true knowledge of oneself. I know to mention spiritual to most psychologists or psychiatrists is taboo. And I honestly don't blame them. I honestly don't. I can see it perfectly. But the psychology that we're talking about now is from beyond the mind. I could talk psychological all night beyond the mind and I'm explaining religion. If you want to talk religion, I'm explaining the true psychology of it. They're both the same. Once you get the connection, you've got it. Them. I could talk. This is a game. It's a cosmic game. You hide the very existence of yourself, and yet you search for yourself. If you search for happiness, you're searching for yourself. Everybody that's born, the second they're born, they're on the road to searching for themselves. That's a game. It's supposed to be like that. That's imperfection. Everything that happens outside, everything that has ever happened, has been perfection. Everything. Because we are the creators of the conscious state, and the conscious state is responsible for everything, so we have a free will and free mind to do whatever we want, so whatever has been created, has been created via the freedom of all things. That's perfection. No matter how bad it seems, you must see it in perfection to find the answer. Because you see, once you start to find the answer, you step inside. And when you step inside and you start to realize it truly is a spiritual reality, 
at this second, you realize the insight is the creator of the illusion of the illusion of the outside. It was all an illusion. And the inside is the creator. And you are the inside. The body, as you see it now, and your so-called mind, is the illusion. You see, there really is no such thing as a mind. That too is the illusion. That's to play the game of life. And when you start to see the perfection of all things from inside, you find the answer. And when you find the answer, you find the secret to separate realities. You can step in and out of separate realities at will. Because you see, all these separate realities are simply separate levels of conscious state. So whoever you're talking to, you step into the reality. But you don't step in and create the feelings of that same reality. That'd be silly. Let me explain that to you. You see, the whole world thinks you've got to be serious to be good. You've got to really be super serious to play good music. That's a fallacy. It's a fallacy of the mind. And we carry it to great extent in our life every day. We have the illusion that being serious is a healthy thing. It isn't. If I'm going to play the piano, I have a choice. I can play it good and be really serious <laughs> and heavy and worried with the stress of the seriousness. Or I can sit down and I can play the piano and really enjoy it. <laughs> and when you really enjoy it, this is when it comes out. Now put this to life. You go through life. And if you take it too serious, you're in trouble. But if you can see the perfection and you walk in this happiness, without this you have no stress. So then you can tell people how to become happy. It's very simple. Jealousy is the same. You see, insecurity is the same. Insecurity is not a fact. It's a belief. And it's one of the biggest beliefs that mankind has. And because of this, we all walk in stress, strain, which leads to competition, which leads to sickness, which leads to problems at home, problems in the work, yeah. just because of insecurity. And I'm telling you now, if you listen, listen very carefully. Insecurity is nothing but a thought manifest in your head to create the form, to create the hell. It is just a thought. That's really nice. It's a beautiful thing that's happening, and it's happening very quiet, which truth does, because truth always takes care of itself. And I've told you people many, many times, and it's really very important. You cannot figure out your problems. You cannot figure them out. The mind that tries to figure out its own problem is playing the game. If you want to get away from this game and truly rid yourself of the problem, all you have to do is to listen to truth. Raise your level of consciousness. This is what happens when you listen to truth. But if you hear, your level of consciousness rises and all the answers you seek will be there. That surprise. That surprise for having the courage to look and see what life really is. Not what it looks like, what it really is. And that's all you're doing. Just simply find out what life is. Uh -huh. What it really is. The manifestation of the fact here, what we see, is the details. 
you cannot get it from the details. You go inside, find a fact, and when a fact strikes, you've got it. You're on the way home. And you're beyond the mind of most of humanity. You see, what the world needs now to get it out of the mess it's in is not any more information because we've got loads of information. We've got computers that have every kind of information that you could possibly think of. Uh, we've got every kind of known thing to help mankind and nothing's happening because it's a mind of man searching to look and find out what his problem is and he can't do it. This you just have to believe. He can't do it. Raise the level of consciousness, which is not an intellectual thing. Raise the level of consciousness of humanity and all the answers will come and all the pollution and all the starving kids in the world and all the so-called wars and riots will all start to ease off. The sickness of humanity will start to ease off. One degree, one single jump of your level of conscious state would be absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Right now we have quite a few teachers that can show people the way. They, they know the way to their level. But believe me, their level is pretty high. Pretty high. We're all learning. We learn every day. Every day we find brand new things. Right now, we're finding brand new things. And that's the idea, is to keep your mind open so as you see every day brand new. Because if you don't, you clutter it up from the past with all your beliefs, all your thoughts, all your stress, all your anger, all your memories, and you live in yesterday. And you can't get out of yesterday. You can't run away from yesterday. Because tomorrow, yesterday will still be there with you. And you can't get away. And you keep running, and you run to India, and you run to China, they run up mountains, they run to workshop after workshop, mm -hmm. and there's no place to run. You've got to stop. Stop dead. Turn around, and there it is. And I'm telling you, keep listening, and you'll hear it, if you want it. And once you get it, you'll be able to guide others, because it's very simple. As a matter of fact, it's so simple, this is the trick in life. Mankind keeps looking for the details, for the hard, the complicated, to find happiness, to find the secret of life, literally the secret of life. And he's got it all the time. Every living soul has it. It's tucked away in the back of your head. You know, it takes a second to come out. When it comes out, you say, well, of course, I've known it all along. But you can't tell it, because once you find it, you've gone into a separate reality. <coughs> this is why anybody ever talking truth. Always talk double talk. But it isn't double talk. It's simplicity. And simplicity is the answer. Because you've already got it. How simple can it be? Well. <laughs> we're going to have a dance. Have a good time. And that's the idea. Have a good time. Don't get serious. Like, <laughs> like you find somebody in the car and say, I wonder what he made now. I'm going to jump up and down and dance and having a good time. <laughs> the person in the corner is saying, I'm trying to figure it out, he's missed it. Eh? Because once it's spoken, you can never bring it back. 
You can't figure it out, honestly. You've already had it. You've got it. To find it, what you've got to do now is forget. You see, everything is opposite. If you go scratching for it, you won't get it. But all you do is forget it. You have a good time, and all of a sudden, pow, it hits you between the eyes. And you say, yeah. <laughs> you say, well, what are you thinking about when you find it? You say, it's a funny thing. I wasn't thinking about anything. <laughs> but you don't believe that until it happens, see? And then after it happens, and you're searching from another level to a higher level, you go through the same thing again. You keep searching. But the search gets less and less until someday you truly realize the secret to all success is to just point in the right direction then do nothing. <laughs> That's true. So let's have a dance. <laughs>